Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the 12 by 12 paper pad swap. I am working on project number two, I believe. And we're gonna just make some easy cards. We're gonna be using this cardstock as our card base. And it's folded over a little bit, but thankfully craft can take a little bit of abuse and keep on ticking. So we'll fix that later on. I'll lay a book or something on it. And then we're gonna be applying this down on top of it just like that isn't that pretty see I don't like this pattern that much but just applying it with some craft I think craft makes everything better right it's like craft cheese maybe craft macaron cheese no um this is craft <laughs> so I had picked out a few of these to go on but I think maybe I have chosen the wrong colors because of the yellow on the um, layering piece. So I think we may have to skip these yellows because they don't look good. And I want to get like the flowers because it match, in my opinion, match fairly well. But let's see. I think this Rosa Piccadilly Hybrid Tea Rose will be fine. See, that looks good and I like how this looks um, watercolor in my opinion I like that so we're gonna make this one card and then we're going to pull this one out do this one and let's see if we can't find a card to go on there mm, nah Nah. We're running short on card toppers. <laughs> Let's see. Nah. Maybe we'll only get one card out tonight because I don't want to use this one multiple times. Let's see what I have over here. The thing is, these other cards are journaling cards. So those won't look. Will not look. Um good at all I am not um, into flowers that much but this is cool how you keep track of it I like that a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside and let's see if I can't save myself because I do have some more cut apart and look at this this looks like it's going to be awesome right here but I think what I will do I think this will look better rounded don't you so let me go ahead and round those corners because I like round corners I really do I'm a round corner kind of person and this does come from that same paper pad it was just another cut apart that I was saving for something else but all of it is going to be used so these cards are four by four and a quarter not four by four so that's the only thing that we need to be um wary of if you are attempting to do this and instead of making three cards we're only going to make two cards and we're going to put these see now i could do this one like this right but now it kind of looks weird i definitely don't like that i'm going to keep it just like that and not worry about it. We're going to be using some adhesive tape because that's what I have handy dandy. And I would recommend getting a mat of some sort to go underneath your paper projects. Not just um, what I have is just this Fiskars cutting board. I would definitely recommend maybe um, some foam or notebook. Something that has a little bit of give in it. So it's just a lot easier for you to um, apply your adhesive. And we're going to apply our adhesive on the back of this right here, not the card itself. See, I haven't crafted in so long. And this tape is, um, I like Tombow. I got a chance to use it before and I really, really like it. But this. For some reason, I think it's just old and it's like sticky. 
but once you start it to going, it works a lot better. So just keep that in mind when you are using some of your older glues or adhesives. You have to be cognitive of that. And I know some of, of us like to stockpile. I am one of those people that likes to keep some on hand. But sometimes less is more when it comes to that. And that looks pretty just like that. You know, you can put a sentiment on there and go. And since I am going to be doing a swap with the person that's receiving this, I am not going to write any sentiments down on there. Um, if I can remember, I'll have to send her a card, but it'll probably be a pre-made card. Isn't that crazy? I'm making cards for her, but not to send to her. What a weirdo. Alright, so we're just going to apply that just like that. And no, no, no. All right. We're going to leave it just like that because I don't want to pull up the card. Whenever I get ready to pull up the card, I usually, because I don't put it down straight. As you can tell, this is definitely not straight. But um, I like it. I really do like it. So let's do these. Go ahead and do those. And these are directional flowers, so just be aware of that. I went to... Tuesday morning today I was looking for something very specific and you see as I've used more it's going on a lot easier and more plain this actually had instructions on how to apply it and maybe I'm just not applying it properly I do believe it's older it's old though um, so once we finish with that we'll be done with that and the manager in there was very very nice to me very nice um, I, you know how if you go to Tuesday morning or any kind of store, like a discount store, they kind of have everything kind of jumbled together. So um, I had a stack of stuff in my hand and he was like, do you, he's like, really, really? Do you need all of those? I, all of those? I said, no, but I do need all the stuff that's in my cart. And he was like, oh. And then once he saw what I had in my cart, he was like, well, our truck comes on this day. And <laughs> I was like, okay. We normally have the craft stuff out on Thursday. So the truck comes on Tuesday. And they normally get all the craft stuff out on Thursday. And this Tuesday morning is huge. It used to be like in the corner of a little shopping center. But um, it's huge. Unfortunately for me, it's like 30 minutes away. 20, maybe 20 minutes away. With all this construction they're doing, it makes it a lot harder to travel to different places where you... Um, want to go and get things and I am done I hope you've enjoyed this quick fun little create a card I love this I'm going to try that effect in a, on the project thank you all for watching happy crafting